Hi to all. Today we are going to discuss about uh, AC bridges. In DC bridges, we are measured only resistance, but in case of AC bridges, not only resistance, inductance, capacitance, not only the inductance capacitance, but in only magnitude will be measured resistance in case of DC bridges, but also phase angle also important for AC bridges. Let us start AC bridges now. How the AC bridges, what are the various types of AC bridges, all will be discussed now. Okay, alternating current bridges not only measures the magnitude, but also measures the phase angle also important for AC bridges. AC bridges uh, are used to measure the inductance, capacitance and uh, impedance or loss angle, dielectric loss angle and impedances. Uh, the similar to DC bridges, but they are working, but phase angle uh, must be same. Let us start that AC bridges, alternating current bridges are important for measurement of inductance, capacitance, storage factor, loss factor, and unknown impedance. All these are this is the simple AC bridge, similar to Wishstone bridge. It consists of four arms. Z1 is the arm AB consists of Z1, arm BC consists of Z3, and Z1 opposite is Z4, and this is Z2 and jet 3 a detector is connected vibrational galvanometer is connected as a detector in the ac bridges in the dc bridges we use which one bridge tangent galvanometer we can use but in case of uh, ac bridges we have to use it is replaced with vibrational galvanometer it is the four arms of the bridge jet one jet two jet three jet four now this is uh, E1 is the voltage drop or voltage across Z1. Similarly, E2 is the voltage across Z2 arm. And this Z3 is the voltage across Z3. E3 is the jet voltage across Z3 arm. Whereas E4 is the voltage across Z4 arm. The condition for bridge balance equation, there should be no current flows through the galvanometer. In similar to DC bridges, that is Wishton bridge, there is no current flows through the detector or galvanometer, then the bridge set to be in balance. This requires the voltage drop between A and B is equal to and A and D, then there is no current flows through the galvanometer. Or E3 equal to if it is E4, then also there is no current in galvanometer. That means E1 equal to E2 or E3 equal to E4, then the bridge set to be in balance. Or the E that is this current I1, Z1 equal to I2, Z2, the voltage drop, then the bit set to be in balance condition. That is equation one, I1, Z1, I2, Z2. Okay, at balance condition, what is the current? Current I1 equal to I3. What is I1? Current flows through arm E1, arm one, that is Z1 and I3 is the current flows through arm Z2 that is also equal to E1 E by what is I equal to E by Z E by Z1 plus Z3 make it as equation number 2 that is again I2 equal to I4 then only balance occur that also equal to E by Z2 plus Z4 substituting equations 2 and 3 in equation 1 this is the balance equation I1 Z1 equal to I2 Z2 Substituting in these equations, you will get Z1 by Z1 plus Z3. This is the, after substituting this, you will get like this. In place of I1, we substituted E by Z1 plus Z3, similar to which from which into Z1, that equal to E by Z2 plus Z4, Z, Z2. Now we, e, e, we can get cancel on both sets. E, after that you obtained Z1 by Z1 plus Z3 equal to Z2 plus Z2 divided by Z2 plus Z4. Now, by equating this and doing cross multiplication, you will get Z1, Z3 into Z2 equal to Z1, Z2. Z1, Z3 into Z2 equal to Z1, Z2 plus Z4. By doing cross multiplication, after multiplication, you will get Z1, Z4 equal to Z2, Z3. What is Z1, Z4? Opposite arms multiplication, product of uh, opposite arms Z1 and Z4 equal to Z2, Z3. This is the balance equation for DC AC bridges, which is very important equation. Opposite arms product will be 
opposite arms product equal to other are two opposite arms this is very important z1 and z4 equal to z2 and z3 is the balance equation for ac bridges similar to vishram bridge p by q equal to r by s the two opposite resistance arms are equal the here magnitude of z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 but also phase angle should be considered z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 in the impedance admittances form we can write like this z1 is we can write 1 by z1 equal to y1 in admittance one similarly z4 we can write as 1 by z4 we can write as 1 by y4 that is y4 similarly z2 z3 can be written as in place of admittances y2 y3 this is the bridge balance equation in admittance form that is important we have to remember this also it is the bridge balance equation in admittance form represent ed ac bridges in the form of admittance means simply in place of z we can write admittance of so balance the product of impedances of one pair of opposite arms that is important one pair of opposite arms must equal to product of impedances of other pair of opposite arms in complex notation this is very important that is z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 or the impedances can be represented in polar form z1 at an angle theta 1 z4 at an angle theta 4 we can write like this because the phase angle also important for this ac bridges z2 z at an angle theta 2 z3 at an angle theta 3 if you multiply this z1 z4 Phase angles must be added. Theta one plus theta four, that equal to z two z three into theta two plus theta three. This phase angle should be equal. Theta one plus theta four equal to theta two plus theta three. If it happens, then only the AC bridge will be in balance condition. That means in DC AC bridges, we have to the phase angle also must be equal. Then only you can. Then, then only the bridge will be in balanced condition. That we have to remember. What is what we have to remember? Not only the impedances must be same. The product of impedance Z1, Z4 equal to Z2, Z3. If it satisfies us, that is first condition. Another is the phase angle must be satisfied. The phase angle also must be equal. Then only the bridge will be in balanced condition. Let us start check the bridge, the four arms of AC bridges as shown in figure, or the impedances of four arms are given. Z1, Z2, and Z3 are the three arms. Z1 is 400, 200 at an angle 40. Z1 is 400 ohm at an angle 50 degrees. Another impedance is 200. Z3 is 800 at an angle minus 50. Z4 is 400 at an angle 20 degrees. Now find out whether the bridge balance occur or not. That means we have to multiply Z1 and Z4. After that, Z2 and Z3. We have to add the angles. Then If it satisfies us, then the bridge is in balanced condition. Let us check that numerical problem.